Well, hello there, foolish mortals, and welcome to today's video. Today, we're going to be talking about my first urban legend here on my channel. I was browsing the internet, trying to find, you know, something to talk to you guys about, and I found this particular urban legend, and it is called the Black Volga. If you guys want to learn more about the Black Volga, please make sure to keep on watching. Also, please make sure to like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you have me entered on the Briar Patch Fan Bam, where we have fun here all the time. And let's go ahead and get started with the video. Between the years of 1960 and 1970, around those years, um, there there were sightings of this mysterious black Volga. Now what a Volga is, it is a very expensive car in Europe. A Volga was kind of like the equivalent of a BMW, like a very high class BMW, very high class Mercedes. So the black Volga was obviously a black car and it had white curtains and white rims on its tires. And it was very distinct because there weren't very many like that, supposedly. Oh. Why are you be falling, buddy? You're cool. Stop. We're just telling a story here. The Black Volga, that one specifically, was known to be haunted, or some say. This is actually a really realistic story, so if you are scared of this kind of stuff and you might think that it's still possible for this to happen, I would watch this because this is pretty realistic. Like, the claims of this urban legend is like, that could actually happen, which is really, really scary. A lot of people believe that the driver of that car, because no one could actually see the driver of that car, that's what freaked a lot of people out because no one knew who it was. Now, everyone has their own theories, things like that, so who was driving the car is not very important in this story, but a lot of speculations of different races, different religions, things like that, that were driving this car. So why were people afraid of this car? The rumor was if you saw this car and this car would just like blast from thin air, like nobody would know that this car was coming. It would appear from thin air, like in the mist, in like misty dark nights, or it could be a very dark dim day and it would come out, you know, it would just, you would never know that it was around. And the rumor was if a person saw this car, they would die instantly or be kidnapped and be found dead 24 hours later. Now, when a lot of children went missing during this time, people said it was the Black Volga that took them because they would take you in the car or they would shoot you or kill you or something, or you would die or have a heart attack, something instantly when you saw this car. And they wanted children specifically because they wanted their blood. These people would be found drained their complete body drained from blood. So again, this is why a lot of people thought that these were like culty people that were driving the car or vampires even that were driving the car because when you found the person dead, all of their blood would have been drained out of their body. So there were a few reasons why people thought or what people thought were happening to these kids. First of all, their blood is very pure. So theorists thought that their blood was being used for Leonid's transfusion. Leonid Brezhnev, sounds so weird for me to say, anyways, he was the current leader of the USSR at the time. He was struggling, he was on that struggle bus and he needed blood transfusions daily according to the articles that I've read. So they apparently would take children or adolescents or teens or whatever, they would take them and they would drain their entire, all of their blood so they, the blood could be given to him so he can survive daily. Another, the most common one is that children's blood were used again for drug, uh, blood transfusions for people, rich people in the Soviet Union that had leukemia, it was used to cure leukemia. And that's what a lot of people thought. The third one, but it's not as popular, the third would be organ black market, organ harvests, which is also pretty freaking realistic if you, if you know, there's a lot of black market, black market harvesting happening around the world. So this is pretty realistic, I feel as though. So what do you guys think about this whole theory? Do you think that that might've existed, that was really hush hush? Or do you think this is a completely urban legend that parents were telling their kids not to hang out after dark because the Black Volga is going to come and get you and drain all your blood? So what do you guys think? Leave a comment down below about this urban legend. Do you think it's true? Do you think it's a myth? Do you think it's just a scary story? Let me know. And that was my video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't yet joined the Bride Patch Fan Bam where we have fun here all the time. And I'll see you guys on my next spooky video. Bye.